What's up Cherry Blossom family? Welcome back to my channel if you're new here. Hi, my name is Jessie, also known as Miss Cherry. And recently in a video, I asked you guys if you would be interested in seeing an epic pin haul. And so many of you were like, yes, give us all of the pins, which I was so surprised about because I've done some pin content on my channel before and it just never really went over well. So I was really excited to hear that you guys wanted to see some more pin content. And I did a bad thing. Like the song on TikTok, I did a bad thing. I have been saving all of these pins to put on pin boards for the entire year. Why? I honestly don't know. I don't know what I was waiting for. I was just like buying pins here and there, placing them in the box. Like I'm gonna get these organized someday. And today is that day. So I hope that you guys are ready for an incredibly massive pin haul. It's gonna be of epic proportions. I'm an avid fantasy pin buyer and collector. And so fantasy pins are pins that are created by independent artists. So you're gonna see a lot of those. There's definitely some authentic pins. And then obviously there's tons of small shops that are gonna be featured in today's video. But just fair warning, this is this is an accumulation actually from November of last year all the way to this week. So it is going to be a long one. So I hope that you guys love this. Thank you so much for everyone who uh, wrote in to me and commented that you wanted to see pin content. I will be providing you more pin content on a more regular basis rather than once every year-ish. <laughs> so anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'm going to flip the camera around and we're going to look at all of the Disney pin purchases that have happened for a very, very long time. Let's do this. <laughs> So we're going to start off with a fantasy pin seller. This is from Castle Babe Co. And this is a teacup set that is Little Mermaid. And I love this because it's got a flounder teacup, a Prince Eric teacup, Little Mermaid teacup, and then the Atlantica teacup. And then it's got these two little cookies at the very bottom that happen to be Sebastian, which I think is just super cool. Such a pretty pin. Castle Babe Co. has so many awesome pins to choose from when it comes to fantasy pins. So here's the first one from Castle Babe. The next one that I bought, this is um, one of the designs that they've had out for a while, but this is the Castle Babe uh, ice cream cone, and this is Ariel's ice cream cone. So it's basically an ice cream cone that is Disney bounding as Ariel, and then there's like a really fun a little fin detail off to the side. Ariel is my main collection, so you'll be seeing a lot of Little Mermaid pins today, so I hope you guys don't mind. The next fantasy pin is from Yo-Yo Pin Designs, and Yo-Yo is a super popular fantasy pin designer, and these pins are absolutely beautiful. I got a set of pins, and they were displayed on her website like this, but they are two individual pins. We've got a Vanessa and an Ariel. However, I think that I'm going to be displaying them separately because I have a Vanessa slash Ursula area of a pin board, and then I have Ariel as the Little Mermaid on another side of the pin board. But I just think that these two are super beautiful. I mean, Yo-Yo is just known for being amazing. So I had to add these to my collection. This and for those of you that don't know, a fantasy pin is actually not a Disney licensed pin, but it is a pin created by an independent artist. So that is, um, these are not uh, Disney licensed pins, and these are Ellie of 50. The next pins that I am going to show you are actually from my friend Juan over at the Disney Damsels. She was selling some uh, pins, and so I picked some up, but this was one that she had gifted me. She and um, her friend Mina used to have a pin company called Damsel Designs, and this was their Soarin' Around the World pin that was very reminiscent of the bubblegum wall, which is really fun. And so thank you for that, Rowan. I appreciate the zap. The next pin that I purchased from her is a Furby that is actually wearing a Mickey Mouse hat. I just loved this. This was also a fantasy pin. I don't know who the seller is, but I just thought that this was absolutely too cute. If you have been a fan of my channel or if you have been around my channel for any amount of time, you've probably heard me talk about how much I love Furbies. So I was really excited to add this to my collection. 
And then last, but certainly not least, from Wurawan, she uh, had this for sale. I thought it was so cool. It's basically just a VHS tape of The Little Mermaid. This reminds me of being a child. The coloring on this is really cool. It's like that iridescent purple and green color with the Little Mermaid logo. It looks just like the VHS tape that I had when I was a little girl. And this is from Enchanted Thoughts Club which is a fantasy pin designer and this looks like it's number 17 out of 100 so it's an le of 100. The next two pins I purchased on eBay because I fell in love with this pin. This is the King Triton crown with him as a poor unfortunate soul after Ursula turns him into that. I am obsessed with this. For those of you that have seen my channel, you know that I love King Triton or hashtag daddy though, as we call him daddy though. And this is from a fantasy pin designer. It's an Ellie of 50, but I do not know the fantasy pin designer. If you do know it, please let me know down below. And then we have an, from the same eBay seller, this flotsam and jetsam pin. I thought it was super pretty. And typically they don't have this much detail in their faces when it comes to pins. So I was really excited to add this to my collection. Um, such a detailed, beautiful Flotsam and Jetsam pin. Next is a pin purchase from my friend Beth Lung. Beth Lung, I will link her YouTube channel down below. But she is selling off some of her aerial collection. And I'm a big aerial collector. This is a Disney Parks pin. It's an open edition and it is Ariel's crown. I think it's so pretty. It's got little stars and rhinestones. And that backer card, the backer card is just stunning as well. Here is what the back looks like with the Mickey waffle back. Next pin that I bought from Beth is the 2020 I Collect pin. And this is a new series that they have this year that says I Collect and then it says blank pins. And then you write in your, well, they write in what it is. I, it says princess pins. And it's got a really cool Mickey window and you open it up. Because I collect Little Mermaid, I thought that I had to add this to my collection. So it's got a little emblem from each of the princesses. It's got a Dingle Hopper as well as Ariel Silhouette, which I loved. But it's got Love is an Adventure down here. And then it's got Destined for Greatness. And it's got Mulan, Beauty and the Beast, Tiana, Belle. It's got a Cinderella little bird, a Cinderella slipper, Sleeping Beauty's crown, Snow White, the carriage, Rapunzel's lantern, an apple for Snow White. Um, it's just a really neat and detailed pin. And then this is what the backer, or this is what the back of the pin looks like. And it is a limited, limited edition of 2000. The next pin that I purchased from Beth, I absolutely love. This is another new one that's a limited edition pin from this year and it's a new inbox this is their cereal box collection and oh there are so many fun details in this so it says loaded with who's it's and what's it's galore surprise inside the box and then down here down here it says 89 calories which 89 is the year that little mermaid came out and it says really tiny print right here. No gizmos or gadgets, 20 thingamabobs per box and 16 essential vitamins out of the water. And then it's a thingamabobs cereal with Ariel and flounder. And the eye is a dingle hopper, which is super cool. Now let's open this up. The details in this pin are so cool. So it's got like an image here of the cereal, which I'm going to do a little close up so you can see. So it's got all sorts of different... Uh, seashells and starfish which is really cool and then it's got a dangle that happens to be a dingle hopper which is really fun and then on this side this is really cool it says how many thingamabobs can you find so it's very reminiscent of like uh, on the inside of a cereal box or outside of a cereal box where you would uh, do like a maze or something along those lines and then it does uh, magnetize closed and you can close in Sorry, it's a little bit hard to do, but you can close in your dingle hopper. And here is what the back looks like. It is a limited edition of 4,000. And this, sorry, I wanted to show you this backer card too. The backer card is really cool as well. They did such a good job on this theme for this year. I really liked these pins. And actually, I got my best friend Nikki a Hercules uh, version of this called Olympios and 
I think she really liked it. I got it for her for her birthday. The next purchase is from Who's It's and What's It's Pins, and this is an Ariel and King Triton fantasy pin. And I, I mean, I'm such a big daddy fan that I felt like I needed to add this to my collection. I love the subtle sparkle details in the bottom, and this pin is very huge. You probably can tell like by my fingers in the background. But this is Ariel while she's getting married and hugging daddy at the very end. And this is the Who's It's and What's It's pin company. And by the way, I will link everything down below. And if I have the information of the pin seller, I will link their information down below. So it's Who's It's and What's It's pins, Ellie of 35. This next pin is incredible. So this pin was created for the 30th anniversary of The Little Mermaid. And I obviously had to get it. Um, I love rainbows and I love everything Little Mermaid. So this was right up my alley. But it's got Eric kissing Ariel's hand. We've got Max. We've got all the sissies, but we also have Melody, which definitely is not super common for you to see Prince Eric and Ariel's daughter in these pins. So that was kind of cool. And then we've got Daddy's rippling abs and pectoral muscles and... <laughs> That's a beautiful, sparkly uh, rainbow coming out of his trident. Amazing. And so this pin is massive. I mean, it is like bigger than my hand. This is what the back looks like. It says 30th anniversary. And then it's who's this and what's its pins. LE of 25. Now with this pin, they actually had a variation. And I'm going to show you what that variation is now. Here is the little variation that I actually ended up purchasing. Oh, hi, Tilly. Um, Kitty's coming and saying hi. So this is Eric and Ariel and I have a part of my pin board that is all Ariel in a green dress with Eric in his suit like this. So this fit into that particular niche portion of my pin board just perfectly. So I got this variation to have. Again is a uh, who's it's and what's it's pin and this one is an LE of 10. So this is a very limited release for this guy or limited edition of this guy. Cat break. Hi, baby. Telly's so helpful. <laughs> Excuse the jelly bean toes, but the next pins, the next few pins that I'm going to show you are from my favorite, my most favorite pin collection that I have outside of my Little Mermaid collection. And that is my Gerald's World pin collection from Pin Dad Pins. So he loves to create a Gerald's World, <laughs> which is basically just Gerald from Finding Dory in all sorts of different outfits, different characters. This is him being frozen by Elsa, Elsa being absolutely devastated and his last little breath has come out and he has died at the end of the first Frozen film. I am obsessed with this pin company. Uh, the owner of Pin Dad Pins is a super duper nice guy too. And um, I'm gonna link his Instagram down below. Go follow him. He makes some beautiful pins. This is the Gerald's World logo on the back and it's got Gerald at the top holding his bucket. And we're gonna show a ton from this uh, pin company. So let's keep going. The next Gerald's World pin I'm gonna show you is Yzma and Kronk. Oh my gosh, can we just hang on? Let's do a little close up of Gerald. Yes, yes, he's got his lipstick on point and those eyelashes. Oh, pull the lever, crunk. So adorable. And again, the same Gerald's World on the back. Next, we have a pin on pin, Princess Leia with Stormtroopers. This pin is stunning. And it's got uh, Gerald wearing his Princess Leia buns. And this has like this really pretty uh, iridescent uh, coloring for the robe that she, he slash she is wearing. And it's got some like stained glass kind of fun elements in the back. And this was pre Gerald World logo. So this was the previous Gerald World logo. This is an Ellie of 30. This one I'll know, although it is not uh, Disney, I am a huge Harry Potter fan. And when I saw that Pin Dad Pins was making a Gerald as Harry Potter, I absolutely had to have it. Can we just take a moment and appreciate him being sorted into, oh my gosh, who do you, like what house do you think he would be sorted into? Leave a comment down below. I actually don't know, but this is a really fun pin. And uh, there is the Gerald's World logo on the back. 
Next is a Mulan pin. <laughs> One of my favorite scenes in Mulan. It's such a cute scene. I just love um, that Gerald is in this traditional outfit. He looks so cute. And um, again, one of the older Gerald World uh, logos on the back. LE of 45. And then we have another Star Wars pin that features Rey and Kylo Ren with Gerald sitting there. I think this is so cute. Also, look at the detail on Kylo Ren's face. He's got like the perfect scar and everything. These pins are just so beautiful and detailed. And then here is the back LE of 35. Next, I'm going to show you a bunch of really neat pins from the pin designer Disney Chris. This is from their home collection. They make some of the most absolutely stunning pins you will ever see. When I saw that they were releasing this set um, of all of the princesses homes I had to get it look at the thickness and how beautiful this pin is and I'm going to do a close-up so you can see the detail but wow I mean this pin is insane with all of the coral and the vibrant colors in the back the pin on pin I love that they decided to make this gold as well it is so heavy and so beautiful this is called Home, and it's from Disney Chris, or Happiest Pins on Earth. All the information is going to be linked down below. LE of 75. Along with King Triton's Atlantica Castle, we've got Prince Eric's Castle, and it's got like this huge wave crashing behind it. Uh, again, super beautiful detail in this pin, pin on pin element, gold background. It's just really beautiful. It's an LE of 75 as well. I have the perfect place for this to go on my Eric pin board and the Atlantica pin is going to go in my daddy section of my pin board. Next from Disney Chris pins, we're going to stick in that home collection. For those of you that have been following my channel, you guys know how much I love the Nightmare Before Christmas overlay on Haunted Mansion that they do in Disneyland. It is amazing. If you get the opportunity to do it, go on it. It's so beautiful and so interesting and I love a good crossover and they came out with this crossover pin that I could not resist again pin on pin element so the haunted mansion is brought forward just a little bit it's got this really cool spiral jack-o-lantern that you see inside of the ride. It's got so many great details, even down to the gates going into the ride. It's the exact replica. You've got the little wreaths on both sides, Jack on the top sitting on his pumpkin, and then it's the bat in the center of the arc. Actually, I'm gonna link a video uh, in the top here so you guys can check it out but um, I did a full ride through of this ride if you were ever interested in seeing what it's like I'll link it up above for you guys to check out I released it during last vlogmas and this again is a home LE of 75 here is another Disney Chris pin I love this pin so much I feel that they capture the um characters so well in these pins they really do such a good job this is so stunning so it's ariel in her blue dress which you never hardly ever see holding prince eric's flute and then we have prince eric holding a snarf blat and um he i don't know if you can see the detail behind them but there are actually images of Prince Eric and Ariel behind them. There is Ariel saving Eric on the bottom. And then there at the top, we've got Eric and Ariel dancing. And then there is Eric's castle in the background. And then I believe that's Eric's castle or possibly that's Atlantica behind her. I'm not 100% sure on that, but the detail in this pin is stunning. This pin is a romantic reflection LE of 65. Again, Disney Chris happiest pins on earth. The next pin from Disney Chris is so pretty. It is called, um, yeah, it just says on the back, Wandering Free, Wish I Could Be Part of Your World, LE of 65, and it's got the Ursula shell and Ariel's voice coming out of it, and this is just so pretty. So it's Ariel in her pink dress, and then Ariel as a mermaid, and then her hanging on to Prince Eric's statue in the background. It's 
a gorgeous pin. The next pin that I am going to show you is actually a pin set. And this happened to be from the 2019 Little Mermaid pin event that went on in Walt Disney World. And my friends Abby and Hope over at the Disney Sisters, which I will link them down below, picked this up for me. So I'm just gonna do some close-ups for you guys because that's probably the easiest thing to do. So we have Ariel and Max. Ariel kissing Flounder with Scuttle, Ariel finding Sebastian underneath her serving dish, and then also King Triton and Ariel. Now what's interesting about these pins, they are all uh, rose gold, which is definitely a more unique type of metal for Disney pins. These are authentic, by the way, and they are a double pin back. They're a double pin back. I'm just going to show you one backer for them so you can see. They're in LE of 2000 and it says the Little Mermaid 30th, uh, 30 years right here, which is really cool. And a huge thank you to Abby and Hope. They actually pre-reserved these for me because they knew I would want them. So thank you guys so much for always um, being so kind to me and, and helping me get pins when I can't get to the park. So thanks guys. And here's a little bit more detail on the back of the box. It says 30 years. It's got the pin trading logo, LE of 2000, and it was $74.99 for four pins. This is so difficult to film because this glass is so reflective. This is a jumbo pin that was from the Little Mermaid 30th anniversary, and it's of Eric and Ariel. I'm just going to try to see if I can get, there we go some detail of them in the shot. So it's them on the kiss the girl scene. And I'm not sure if this is gonna come up, but the background is the mossy tree that's behind them in the kiss the girl scene with all the fireflies. And it is actually metallic. And then it is framed. I did not frame this. This actually came framed from the Disney pin event like this. And Abby and Hope from the Disney sisters picked this up for me. And so this is a really pretty pink mat and then also this like silver wooden frame that it came in and just for size like it's about as big it's about as big as my palm so it's a pretty big pin and then it does have a certificate of authenticity it is a limited edition size of 500 and it does have this really nice uh place to actually hang it on the wall which i'm super excited to be hanging this in my craft room very soon and then it is 125 dollars for this piece this is a collector's item i'm so excited to have this this was definitely a must purchase for me because of little mermaid's 30th anniversary the next pin I'm going to show you is another fantasy pin, and this is a Prince Eric silhouette with Ariel looking very excited to be seeing him. <laughs> and then this is my favorite part of the pin. It's Sebastian hanging on to her fins, desperately trying to prevent her from falling in love with a human which is not going to work and actually i have this portion of the pin separated from this as an individual pin which i think is kind of fun so i think i'll put this on my prince eric board and then i will put just the little mermaid portion um, that i have as a duplicate on my little mermaid section of my pin board this is kind of a unique item this is a fig pin that i purchased from a live pin sale on instagram I've always wanted a fig pin and so we're gonna open it and check it out so here is the fig pin out of its packaging now this is what's cool about fig pins so this is a Disney licensed product by the way but it's sold by figpin.com and it has this really cool like pin back but what you can do is you can take the actual stand that it came with and run the pin back through and then place it onto it, and then it is a standing pin. I just really uh, liked the detail of how this pin looked. It looked very comic book style to me, so that is why I chose to purchase this pin. It was very inexpensive for the size of pin. Like this pin is humongous, and this was $15, which I thought was a really good price because if this was like a fantasy pin, this would be so expensive. 
I am planning on not keeping it standing. I prefer the pin itself. So I'm just going to be placing this onto my pin board in the green dress section. The next fantasy pin is actually from Yo-Yo Pin Designs, which I showed one of those earlier, and this is Ariel escaping from that big old shark when she is like looking through that big ship that has been shipwrecked, and look how terrified Flounder looks. I think this pin is super duper neat. It's got all these like really cool bubbles like animated over the top of the pin. It's just super beautiful. I love the details in this pin. This pin has a little bit of a story behind it. There's actually a uh, person in Alaska that I purchased this pin from and he had this pin up for sale and I fell in love with it. For those of you that don't know, I actually am in the construction industry. And so for me, this was like a double of my life. And so I kind of just loved it. It says, The Little Mermaid Ariel's Undersea Adventure, California Adventure 2011. So this was a pin from the opening of the Undersea Adventure in DCA, which is one of my favorite pins. It's an Imagineers, uh, Disney Imagineering pin, as you can tell from the little, excuse me, Walt Disney Imagineering, as you can tell from the little Sorcerer Mickey hats on the back. And this one is an LE of 250. Uh, this is going to be one of those pins that I will never sell just because it has a pretty special place in my heart um, that has a lot to do with my career and my favorite princess. Next I have a Hong Kong pin that is super duper pretty. It's a Sakura pin or it is a, I mean, cherry blossom pin. Based. This was available online on an Instagram live pin sale. It says Daisy Duck at the bottom. It has all of these really pretty cherry blossoms all over it and little cherry blossom petals falling behind her. She looks super pretty. And I believe this is Hong Kong, yep. Oh no, I'm sorry, it's Shanghai. This is a Shanghai Disney pin and it is from 2020. So this is a brand new pin with a Mickey waffle back. The next two fantasy pins I have are from Mad Unicorn. We have a little fragrance bottle that has, or maybe just a bottle <laughs> that has a very cute kawaii uh, flounder hanging out in there with all these little stars and bubbles. And then I think this is so cool. So we have this like treasure chest slash music box that happens to be uh, Ariel and Atlantica themed. And it's got Ariel's silhouette. It says Atlantica and has a little dingle hopper on the side there. It's so pretty. And this seller is actually on Etsy. So I'll link their information down below. This is a brand new pin from the Disney Parks in 2020, another one of their new series that they're doing. This is the Park Cruisers, where it actually has a replica of the ride vehicle, which is super duper cool. It's got this really cool, like, iridescent background. It says Park Cruisers, and it says the most magical rides in the world, and this is the Little Mermaid established in 2011, and this is plastic, just so you're aware. So this is a plastic covering, and then the ride vehicle itself is a rose gold. Let's take a look at the back of the pen. So here is the back of the pin. It is a limited edition of 2000 and it's got like this gunmetal gray uh, backing on it. It's so cool. I think this pin is awesome. Here's another fantasy pin that I got on really good sale on a live sale that is Ariel in a traditional uh, outfit uh, kimono and it is so pretty. It's got Ursula on one side of her sleeve and then it's got uh, Scuttle and Flounder and Sebastian on the other and she's got these really cool uh, seashell picks in her hair and she's holding a dingle hopper and a fan. I just thought this was very stylized and very interesting. I got it for a really good price. I don't know who the fantasy pin seller is but it looks like it's an L.E of 25. Again, if you know who the fantasy pin seller is, let me know down below. Next is the Mickey's Halloween Party that's a Disneyland annual pass holder pin. I got this because I particularly love Stitch in his vampire slash Dracula version and I just thought this was so cool. So it's got little Freedy elements. This is a authentic Disney pin and Freedy is basically just this like rubberized element for the tiki torches and it's got Lilo trick-or-treating with him and Stitch is like dragging his treat bag and Lilo is holding out her treat bag like she's gonna get some treats and then it's 
got the Disneyland castle silhouette in the background with some bats. Super cool, Ellie. I have a small Halloween collection of of characters that I typically collect. Here is the back of the pin. It's an LE of 5,000. Again, this is from 2016. It's a Disneyland annual pass holder exclusive. Super fun. The next pin I picked up was this Happy Halloween pin, since we're on a Halloween kick. That is Ursula, and it is a hinge pin, so it's got flotsam and jetsam on the outside in this gunmetal gray. Super, super cool looking, and then when you open it, the window opens up and it says, you poor unfortunate soul, and it has the queen herself, Miss Ursula, looking so sassy. <laughs> And this was an LE from last Halloween. I actually picked this up when I was in Disneyland uh, during Halloween last year. Here is the back of the pin. It's like a really matte gunmetal gray. It says a limited edition of 5,500 with the Disney pin trading logo on the back. This pin is probably my favorite pin from this whole entire haul. And, and the reason why is because this is Ariel from my childhood. Like how she looks, how she is portrayed. Like this was the look of my childhood. Isn't she just so pretty? And oh my gosh, I just love this. It's baby pink with sparkles. This is an authentic Disney pin from 2003. It looks like it was just an open edition. I got so lucky in getting this. It actually was pretty inexpensive and I am seriously in love with this pin. I think I'm going to display it right in the center of my uh, Little Mermaid pin board. <laughs> The next pin that I got was actually from a Disney mystery set back from, I think it was 2017 when these came out, and I never ended up getting Ariel. I actually opened a couple of these boxes when I was in the parks a couple of years ago, and I never ended up getting her, so I just ended up buying her. And this is a really cool cameo pin. This is basically an image of her with like this nice um, like rubberized top to it, and then it has... Sebastian on the bottom, a clamshell, a seahorse, and some little uh, sparkles over on this corner. This is an open edition mystery pin from 2017. And there is what the backing looks like. Here is another fantasy pin. I don't actually know who made this uh, fantasy pin. I do like it. Um, when I purchased it, I was I didn't realize that there was so much white in the background, so it's kind of a little bit different. But the good news is is that my pin board actually has a white background uh, for my Little Mermaid pin, so this is going to blend in quite nicely. I do think the image of her and Flounder is pretty darn cute. She looks pretty discouraged there, but I love how he is comforting her. And this is a really unique and fun pin. You definitely don't see this image of them often. Next is another one of my faves. I think this pin is absolutely stunning. It's Eric sitting on a moon holding a star and his pan flute and it's got all of these different emblems of the film including like Ursula's shell and him and his statue and on the back this is from Villains Codes and it's an LE of 40 and this is from the Touch the Stars series. Love this. This next pin I picked up during an Instagram Live sale, and this is the Disneyland 60th anniversary. When I was there during the 60th, they didn't have a lot of pin selection because I was there during kind of the latter part of it. And I really love how sparkly and beautiful this pin is, and so I really wanted to add it to my collection since I happened to be there the year that they actually had at Disneyland a 60th and I don't think that this one I think this one is just their open edition version of the Disneyland 60D. Celebrate the D y'all celebrate the D. The next pin was from when I went to Disneyland in 2019 during Halloween time. This is called the Terrifying Transformations Happy Halloween pin. It is a limited edition pin and it says 2019 Happy Halloween at the bottom. And it's got Ursula cupping her shell uh, that has Ariel's voice in it. And then it is a spinner pin and then you spin it. 
And then it is her as Vanessa, which is super cool because you never see Vanessa in authentic Disney pins. So that is pretty neat. So this is the back of the pin. It is an LE of 5,000. And again, this was from the 2019 Halloween pins, terrifying transformations this next pin really speaks to my heart. Actually, my very, very first Disney pin ever was Stitch in Elvis in his Elvis outfit. So I collect Stitch pins and this is another form of him in his Elvis costume where he is just really jamming out. This is a Disneyland Paris pin. It is an open edition pin and it is from last year, 2019. The next pin is a fantasy pin. This is from the Daughters of Triton, and I thought that this cutie King Triton had to come home with me. They are a seller, I believe, on Etsy. I will definitely link all of their information below, but isn't he just adorable? I love his tiny little cutie abs, and I do love the little details of the spots on the side of his fins, and this is just super cute. Next is another really fun Stitch pin. This is an authentic pin that is Stitch eating a king cake from Mardi Gras 2014. Now, almost every year, we go to Disney right around Mardi Gras time and we always see the Mardi Gras pins and pick them up. This is a limited edition of 2500. I particularly liked this for my stitch board so that is why I chose to pick this one up but he is just so cute. Ellie of 2500. This pin I actually picked up because I am going to be placing this onto my bulletin board at work. I just thought it was a really cute reminder to me um, that I would rather be in Disney. I don't know who the fantasy pin seller is on this but this is just such a nice cute pin and wouldn't we all rather be at Disney right now mm. yes please. this next pin is super cute this is a Eric and Ariel fantasy pin and it's got flounder and this fish making a beautiful iridescent shiny heart around Prince Eric and Ariel in the kiss the girl boat it really is just so pretty and there are little cattails on the side and Sebastian is there singing. I think this pin is just super cool. It says Eric and Ari or, I'm sorry, Ariel and Eric limited edition of 50. I don't know who the fantasy pin seller is. If you guys know, let us know down below. This next pin is a Disneyland Paris pin and they do such a great job with making all the princesses look so beautiful in all the Disneyland Paris pins. I am so impressed. This is Ariel and look at those little swirls in her hair. She's got that really pretty flower that she puts in daddy's hair during the film and I think she looks so pretty. And I don't know if this one is a limited edition. Let's check. This is an open edition Disneyland Paris pin from 2019. This next pin makes me laugh. This is a Little Mermaid Atlantica uh, pin that is from nerdpins.com. If you guys had the original VHS, you understand why there is a hidden gem inside of this pin. I could not resist. This is flipping hilarious to me. Thank you to whoever on Instagram tagged me in this. This makes me so happy. And it's nerdpins.net. I'll link their information down below. They've got some really hilarious, fun pins. So go and check them out if you have a fun sense of humor. Next, we have this tiny little baby little Mr. Toad that is a Disney authentic pin that is a hidden Mickey pin. And he looks super dapper in his Mr. Toad outfit with the Disney D. Celebrate the D, y'all. And here is what the backing looks like. It is so tiny, like so, so tiny that you can't even really read anything out of this. It does say like hidden, um, hidden Mickey pin. I think it's five of six. Yep, five of six, but I can't tell. The date is so tiny. I can't tell what year this is from, but if you guys know, please let us know down in the comments. Next, we have a really cool Tokyo pin. This is an open edition Tokyo Disneyland pin that I just really, really loved. I had the opportunity to go to Tokyo last year and I just could not pass this up during a live pin sale because it says Tokyo on it and there aren't really any very many good pins that say Tokyo on them from the Tokyo Disney parks. So I thought this would be fun to place at the top of my Tokyo pin board so you can like see all of the pins underneath it and they all represent Tokyo. 
This next pin is the pop-up book pin and it is the Wind in the Willows and this is um, Mr. Toad and Cyril Proudbottom and then when you open it it says once upon a time Mr. Toad and his good friend Cyril were on their way to nowhere in particular when a motor car zoomed by them on the country road toad had never seen anything like it and so here is the motor car and look how flipping excited he is and here is like the signage and this is pin on pin it's such a beautiful pin pin on pin elements plus a hinge pin plus a little story so cool and this is a limited edition of 4000 and it was from 2019. Next, we have this cutie Ariel that is a fantasy pin with Scuttle and Sebastian. I thought she just looked so cute as kind of like a little girl. And you don't really see her kind of looking, you don't really see her in this like little girl form very often. It's got a super shiny sky. It's great quality pin, really cute glitter on her uh, little bust there. And it's interesting because she's using a spoon and not a dingle hopper. And that bugs me just a little bit. Maybe when she was little, she combed her hair with a spoon or whatever a dingle hopper equivalent for a spoon would be. <laughs> This is from Free Wings. It's a limited edition. It's called Princess Hobbies. And it doesn't say what the LE is, but it is a limited edition pin. This next pin was one that was picked up for me as well. It's another 30th anniversary pin with Eric's statue that's all in like this gunmetal matte gray. And then you have Ariel admiring him next to him, next to the statue. And then on the very back, it says an alley of 2000 and it is in rose gold, which is really nice. And this was from 2019. And this was from the pin event that happened in November of last year. The next pin I'm going to show you is a super cute castle party pin. Castle party uh, is on Instagram and this is their aerial monorail. I just couldn't pass it up because it's my favorite princess and it's a monorail and I love any sort of crossover pins like that. Next we have the A pin that is from a Disney mystery set that was Alphabets and uh, it has Ariel admiring a dingle hopper and the A is in her beautiful sparkly green that is typically the color of her fins. It is a gold metal and this is an open edition pin. We have this incredible pin. Now I've been considering starting a black and white pin collection because I have a black and white pin of Ariel that I am absolutely obsessed with and when I saw this stitch I could not pass it up. You'll see there is Nana in the background and her eyes are the only thing that is actually uh, colored in this pin and they are blue but this is obviously a crossover of some sort of horror film. I don't know what the film is, um, forgive me, uh, for those uh, horror movie buffs, but this is a horror movie crossover, Stitches Eating a Scrump, and this is a pin on pin element. It's super duper thick, super nice pin. I actually do not know the fantasy pin seller, uh, but it's an LE of 31, which is a really interesting LE. If you made it to the end, you are the true and real MVP of this video. I can't believe it. Thank you guys so much for watching. You'll have to let me know down below if we're pin twins, what pin that you liked from this video, or if you are planning on getting any of these these pins that were featured in today's video and if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up let me know that you want more pin content below or if you have any suggestions for any other content that you'd like to see on my channel feel free to use the comment section down below as a suggestion box but anyway I had so much fun hanging out with you guys if you like this video be sure to give it a thumbs up it helps my channel so much and I would love it if you would subscribe and come along on me with this amazing magical YouTube journey that we are on it is just so much fun to make videos and I always have so much fun with you guys. So again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. TTFN. Bye!